if you're just starting out and you've got your first apartment or your first home and maybe money's a little tight for new furnishings and you've got a grandmother or grandfather with an attic that hasn't been cleaned out in years I'm gonna tell you this you should volunteer to clean it now before you start thinking I've lost my mind I have it here's the thing there could be hidden gems up there and I'm gonna tell you what I mean coming up next Your grandparents' attic can be a treasure trove full of well-built furniture just waiting to be restored. Now I, I headed down to my local thrift store because you can find good furniture there as well for pennies on the dollar, like this table here. Now this table, it's got its issues, it's got scratches, it's got gouges, it's got water stains. But what I will tell you is I got a great deal for 20 bucks and there is a gym hiding underneath. Here, I'm separating the tabletop from the base of the table. It's gonna make the restoration go a lot smoother. Now, I'm gonna be using a chemical stripper. I like this brand because it works in as little as 15 minutes. I'm gonna apply it with a bristle brush, but listen, you wanna make certain that you're wearing gloves because, well, it can burn your skin, it can irritate it. And the other thing is, make certain that you're working in a well-ventilated area. Now, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm removing the finish with a painter's knife. It's metal, but you can use plastic, and in fact, if you're new to refinishing, you may want to use plastic because you're less likely to gouge the wood. Now, I'm using a cardboard box to discard my spent stripper. Now you're going to want to clean the surface with mineral spirits. The mineral spirits is going to help neutralize the surface that you've stripped and that stripper. So don't forget to do this because it's going to help your finish adhere solidly to the surface of the, of the wood. Use a clean cloth to wipe up the remaining mineral spirits. Now, if you don't want to use a paint stripper, you got options. Maybe you can't get outside, maybe you know you can't work in a ventilated area, but you can use a scraper, like this one here. This is a carbide scraper, and they are excellent at removing finishes from wood. Now a razor blade comes in handy as well. It's a great tool for refinishing furniture. It gets those little areas that you just can't quite get to with a scraper. Now our next step is we're gonna start sanding, but before we do that, there's something I wanna show you. Now I want you to take a look at just how thin this veneer is. That's it. So when you're sanding and you're using an electric sander, it is very, very easy to sand right through the veneer. That's why if you're new to refinishing or restoring furniture, it's a good idea to hand sand first to get used to using an electric sander on furniture that has veneer. Now once you get finished sanding the surface, you'll want to use a tack cloth. That's what this is here and it is infused with a very tacky substance that really grabs hold of the dust that's left on the surface of the wood. So we're going to open this up. Now we just wipe it down. Now 
it's time to apply our stain now we're going to be using a gel stain and what I like about the gel stain is that this tends to stay on the surface doesn't soak in as much and you get a more consistent finish with a gel stain now I'm going to be wiping the stain up with a clean cloth and I'll be applying it with a foam brush and of course you want to make certain that you have gloves before you start the process Now that our stain is dry, it's time to apply our finish, and we're going to be using Odie's oil. Now, it tends to get solid in the jar, so you have to stir it up, and this is the consistency you want. Now, you don't apply very much, it takes just very little, and you want to apply it with a Scotch-Brite, that's what I'm using here. And again, use, you use very, very little. Just enough to cover the surface. Once you get it worked in really well like I do here, you let it sit for an hour. We'll come back and we'll buff it out. Now it's time to, to remove it and we use a nice clean cotton cloth. Remove it going in the direction of the grain. We're just taking that oil off. I'll leave a link below to all the tools and materials I used in this video so you can, well, check things out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.